Hello uh, YouTube, today we're uh, here in the city of Pasadena for a small truck. Obviously being a big flipper might be overkill, but the customer specifically requested a rotator. And the reason why was he ended up getting stuck somewhere and they sent a, a smaller truck. And the smaller truck uh, ended up uh, leaving it uh, in a worse uh, in the worst position that it was that it was already in. So he says, uh, originally I requested a, a crane type truck. Here we are. How are you doing? That's solid over there. Okay. All the assaults. Yeah. This is very soft. Yeah, it took my truck. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, you have a come along over here. Yeah, just in case. Okay. When the dumber pushed it further in, it was right here. They pushed it further in. Oh wow! It's sitting on the um. What the company stick. did you uh, call? You said like some truck with flowers or something. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. but you called a, a service like a. Service. Yeah, yeah, and they sent someone local yeah. here. Yeah. Oh wow! Truck with flowers. Yeah. I know, wonder who they are. One of the guys said, "Why don't you call Pete?" Yeah, oh, Pepe's. Damn. Yeah, Pepe's. Pepe's. Trucks are everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So they were going to winch it backwards. Well, and first they had a truck here. Yeah. Trying to pull it back on. See, that worked out good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Were they trying to go forward? They were or? Trying to go forward. Then yeah. they tried to pick up the back, but his truck was not strong enough. It picked the front of his truck up. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I mean, we had it over a little bit, but then when he tried to do this nonsense, it went further over. There's a four foot drop over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Okay. Yeah, luckily there's a, you can get some height. That's drop, bro. Yeah, I see that. Just trying to see exactly where I could, where I could grab it from. Just a bolt on bumper? Yeah. I mean, put on professionally, so I mean, that. Uh, might be sturdy. <laughs> might be sturdy. Right. <laughs> oh, Tommy Gate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the safest way down is straight to there. Man. Yeah. You just got finished unloading the load. It was loaded, man. Oh, was it? Okay. Miracles attract the trailers, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you find that uh, lithium battery out there? Oh, uh, we had a couple of them, yeah. yeah. The one on the freeway? Yeah. Yeah, they had that one, I guess, for a long time. Okay. What you think? I'm not sure if I should tackle it from the side or back up further here. Yeah, I don't want to mess up your lights. Your lights are the tallest thing, right? Yeah, no, the lights are it's pretty much the height of that. So yeah. I could come around right here and and boom over. So it shouldn't be a big problem. So I'm not sure if I do that or get it off the side. I wouldn't need that much outriggers. Also what I was thinking is I could probably grab it from the middle. You get the back one, that's half the back right there. Huh? Yeah. And at that point there's some hookup points there in the front. At that point I could just pretty much lift this and swing it over. The only reason why I'm saying is because uh, cause if I were to attach something here, I mean, theoretically, I could do it with my spreader bar, but the thing is, is that the line of action would be touching this, and I don't want to crush this. You understand? Can we get something around it? I think I can, right. and that should be the best bet, because at that point, it would go right in between your cabin here right. and be able to lift something. There's a lot of cables here. Yeah, as long as I don't pinch any cables, I should be fine. But I'm pretty sure I could reach around something here. Let me see if I have a small uh, chain that could fit in there. A tiny chain that could fit in there, and then I'll put a strap on top. It does go through, but there's a bracket. 
So that's that's out of the question. Yeah, because I see where it goes through, but it literally goes up here into this bracket right here. So that's where the hole's at. So that that wouldn't work. I mean, it would work if I grab it from there, but I need something to pick it up from the bottom, which I could end up using a strap, but I don't want to apply any pressure to these. Let me do it off the side. I think I'll put some straps there and there. Okay. And then I'll grab it from that side up. And then I'll use the the boom as a as a spreader bar. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Alex. Alex. All the time in the day, just watching you do this, man, it's making my day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that a No, no, they're, uh, it's a company called Bailey's. Thank you.
one. No, it's gonna come loose when I push it out that way. Okay. Yeah. I don't scratch up the side.
I'll hook up to the front and swing it over. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. No problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Listo. Well, the customer is uh, very happy. We're going to go ahead and uh, put away a big flipper. truck is uh, undamaged and that's uh, this what we call is a Miller spreader bar so what happens is that the last stage and the second stage obviously there's a, a space in between it as it's coming out and I utilize that as my spreader bar just so I don't crush the, the truck or any any casualty that you would lift These look like uh, like pomegranates. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> oh man, uh, I, I appreciate it. Uh, no, just I have to verify just payment and that's it. Okay. okay. Yeah, because I told her if it didn't go through, she just called me back a few minutes ago to give her the expiration date. Okay. Make sure it goes through. Okay. Okay. Man, it's hot out here, huh? Yeah, well, okay. oh. Damn, right here. Made it worse? Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't roll it. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Scary. <laughs> Look at the lemon tree. Huh. No wonder it smells good. Well, normally, uh, I 
put everything away in, the, in its order, but I have a, this is a one-way street and I'm blocking traffic, so they've been more than uh, patient for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let them loose real quick. That way they're not standing around, you know, waiting. Look at that. How did that get caught in there? Ooh. Payment went through, sir. Good. Yep. Thank you. Appreciate Alex. it. No Good worries. Man, Thank you, man. No, that was coming awesome. Man. <laughs> Thank you. I tried to. I couldn't think of y'all. I was like, damn, what's that? Them big trucks going around. <laughs> I, like you said, I called out people from Texas. I knew that was same thing. Like shipping a car. Yeah. You call up ship a car, and somebody from New Orleans is trying to book your car. You know? yeah. yeah. That's what they do. It's like a broker, basically. Yeah. They find the nearest tower here, which happens to be here, and yeah. A hell of a truck, man. Thank you, yeah. yeah. We call it Big Flipper for a reason. Yeah, that's, that's the name of it, Big yeah. Flipper. Yeah. Well, I've seen them with like some of the shows uh -huh. on the Discovery Channel flipping the trucks and pulling trucks out of the thing. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. Awesome. All, All, right. Right. All right, thank you, Kenny. Oh, thank you, brother. Be you safe. Good one, right? You too. Thank you. Yeah. I'm a back out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there you guys. There you go, guys. It's all, the, it's all said and done. Customers just gonna back out. Big flippers pretty much uh, let everybody through. And on to the next adventure. All right, guys. From uh, Pasadena, California. Peace out, guys. Thank you. Hello YouTube, my name is Alex and welcome to Josh's Breakdown. I'm your host for today. On this particular call, we ended up getting the call actually through our social media and through our YouTube. Uh, the gentleman uh, gave us a call and asked for a rotator specifically. He actually asked for that rotator because uh, he ended up calling a different towing service ahead prior to us and they ended up uh, pushing it more over the ledge. Um, they actually tried to winch it forward and at one point they uh, had to underlift it with the wheel lift and basically try to drive forward to be able to uh, get it out of the hole which obviously it, it, it failed. Uh, the reason it failed was uh, the frame was already riding up against the, um, the asphalt on that ledge. As they tried to pull it forward all it did was just cause it to, to slide further in and dig itself more down that little four foot embankment. So hence he called the big flipper to lift it and put it back on the road. For this lift, I actually ended up doing a, a two-part lift. So the first part that I ended up uh, utilizing was uh, a little technique called the Miller Boom or the Miller uh, uh, Spreader Bar, which uh, we actually utilize uh, the spreader bar to create distance between the main sheaves and the auxiliary sheave. Uh, obviously, the wider the spread is, uh, so when we lift up on it, the the slings don't press up against the, the fenders and the, the, the utility box and, and crush it. One of the straps was actually attached to the frame on the main side and on the auxiliary side I had two lines connected directly to the, to the, to the rims with, uh, with our Bailey's uh, slings of course, some baby container slings. On the opposite end, we actually had some grommet slings. For the second part of this lift, uh, I connected uh, some baby shackles to the front of this bumper. Uh, that bumper is actually very heavy duty and actually uh, welded directly to his frame. 
it had no uh, possibility of, of, of it ripping off with, uh, with, uh, with me lifting it. So I ended up using uh, two uh, Bailey's um, grommet slings, the half inch ones, and then two little baby uh, shackles attached to the bumper and up and out and placed it back on the road. One question that uh, I'm probably going to receive in the comments is uh, how come we didn't utilize an actual uh, traditional spreader bar? Again, the problem with it, since the truck, the utility truck was at an angle, um, by the time that I lift on the spreader bar, uh, it would create too much tension on the side that is leaning and consequently crush the, the fender and the utility box, which is a damage and obviously the customer would not be happy. So that's why I decided not to use that one and use that, the actual um, Miller uh, uh, spreader bar with, with my boom. All in all, this, this job was uh, relatively easy. Uh, it was kind of hard to access since it was in, in the little hills of Pasadena, but Big Flipper obviously backed up and fit in there in that little, uh, that little spot and was able to get this customer going and he was very happy. All right, guys, this is a very short and concise uh, breakdown. Not really much to talk about. It was a very straightforward uh, job. Customer was happy and on his way. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.